Hey friends, Tux here. My voice say may sound a little bit different in this video, and it's because I have the sniffles. I have a summer cold. I know. I want to apologize in advance if I sound a little sniffly. Um, can't be helped. Maybe too much AC. I don't know. But anyway, I'm, I'm getting over it fast. I'm feeling better and better. Um, but I do have a little bit of a case of the sniffles, so I wanted to just let you know in advance. That's the deal on that, okay? <laughs> All right. Um, this video, though, I got some cool stuff for you, though, actually. I have this. This is kind of like a video of things I did not expect, okay? And we have this Rick and Morty blind box, which is from my Hot Topic uh, haul. I covered this in my recent haul video. And I, I honestly did not expect this. I don't know what this is, man. I It's one that's sealed tape with scotch tape. Okay, I wouldn't buy that. And this is like loosely like glued. In fact, now the glue is completely popped off. So this is probably like a really bad figure that somebody didn't want that resealed it. I don't know why they charged me for it or how I made my bag. I know it's charged for it at least. But maybe it's a chaser. Maybe I'll luck out and be that one of 72. I really would want that actually. And the show is pretty cool. So don't get me wrong, especially if it's a major character. This is a great way to start a new collection, but I wasn't planning on starting the collection with this one resealed blind box, okay? So anyway, we'll find out what's in the box. It sounds like it's really loose, so maybe it's a really cool one. I don't know. But what's even cooler than that, okay, which is really awesome, is I got this little box in the mail today. And typically, I have a pretty good idea when things are coming to me. People sh send me a little heads up saying, hey, Tux, I'm mailing you something or whatever, which of course you guys know I love, love mail, okay? And this box is from Mandy from Wichita, Kansas, okay? And I'm really excited excited she sent me this. I have no idea what's in the box, so let's go ahead and check out the cool stuff right now. Okay, let's go ahead and dive into, boy, which one should I open first? What do you think? You want to do the, the big one or the little one? I, I, God, I don't know which one to expect. Um, I guess we will go ahead and do this one first since I'm touching it, and I can't wait to open this. Oh my gosh. All right, let's go ahead and open this up. Let me see if there's a pull tab or something. I don't want to show the address. Um, again, this uh, I should mention that the P.O. Box we've been sending things to, um, they are closing. So again, please uh, don't send things to my P.O. Box because um, it's like a mom and pop business. I like to support small businesses and it's a really nice small business that uh, it's P.O. Box I've been using for a while for viewer mail and um, I guess they're closing up shop. So anyway, I have to get a new P.O. Box. So if you want to send anything to me, just shoot me a little a message first, okay? And I can let you know the best address to send it to you. If you have a different address besides the P.O. Box, um, that should still be fine, okay? But anyway, I'm sorry about that. Oh, cool. Like, oh man, there's some cool stuff in here. But this is the Aqua Candy Company, and it's a brand new, like, little candy, candy crate, okay? Um, and it looks like it's youtube.com slash candy mandy. You can learn more about this. So, um, thank you very much. Let's go ahead and see what we have inside the box. We'll go ahead and pull out some different things here. I guess we'll kind of do this blind box style. The first thing I'm going to pull out here is this really cute button set. Look at this, man. This is really cool, man. These have some cool Sun and Moon, which, of course, includes some classic Pokemon buttons. Let's go ahead and check these out together. I love buttons, and I have, like, what do I have new? I have a uh, new messenger bag um, that I need to put buttons on, so these are really great. We'll go ahead and show this. There's a Murkrow. Look at that. Very cool. In my Dofus MMO, I actually have a character called Murkrow, which I like a lot, but it really doesn't look like this, but it is dark in color like that. I've been seeing a lot of these in Pokemon Go, and I, whenever I see it, I can't help but think of my, my classic Murkrow character in Dofus. Um, we got a little bird here. What, Fletchling? Very cute. Let's see what else we got. Oh, this is one of my favorite Pokemon from uh, Sun and Moon. It kind of looks like like a, a Ted uh, Donald Trump, uh, Ted Cruz, Donald Trump. Um, yeah, so I kind of like this Pokemon actually, just because it's so weird looking, you know. Um, let's see what else we got. Uh, Spenda, really cute. Hopefully, I'm getting all these names right. I apologize if I'm getting them wrong. Um, cute little Pokemon. I'm not sure what that thing is actually. Am I? Let me know what Pokemon this is. Maybe I'm just not looking at this pin right. Very cute. And then we finally got a little one here, which is, I guess, what, a, weed a Weedle? So, really cool, guys. Um, thanks for the Pokemon pins. That's awesome, actually. I'm, I'm a big fan. These look like, um, these probably aren't officially licensed pins, as far as, I don't see, like, a Nintendo seal, but they're very good in quality. Like, look at that picture. That's a very nice picture. So, I'm digging these pins. And these are pins which I will actually use. So, that is a big plus. All right, let's see what else we got here. Um, there is a Pokemon pen. This is cool. This is one of those fun little like multicolored pens. So you can have like blue, red, green, and yellow. Maybe yellow? Yeah. So it got a bunch of different inks here. And it does have a nice rubbery grip at the bottom. 
and it does have feature some cool little Pokemon, the Pokemon, the movie three. So this looks like this probably is officially licensed product. Maybe it's like some kind of like a promotional item from Pokemon, the movie three. So really cool. I don't have this, but um, this is awesome. I'm going to add this to my collection of Pokemon stuff and I will have a video. I know I keep promising this. People keep asking me um, of like non Pokemon card stuff. They want to see just like classic Pokemon toys. And I have like a pretty cool collection of weird random Pokemon things. So I'll show you coming up down the road. Stay tuned for that. Let's see what else we have. Um, let's see. We'll grab this what is this this is like a little this kind of reminds me of like pez maybe or something let's see i'm gonna treat this kind of like a, a food crate and we'll see let's see for sale japan oh, for sale in japan only oh my gosh all right let's see of course this was not sold individually so we're real cool i love trying like import foods and snacks and stuff let's see what we have hopefully it's not gum uh, you guys know i'm not i'm not big into the gum but i do love little foreign treats oh look it has like a little piece of paper there and it looks like, oh, uh, this looks like some kind of gum. Yeah, I'm guessing this gum. I'm gonna take a little piece off this and see what that looks like. Maybe it's like not gum, maybe it's more like taffy. I'm gonna go ahead and try this. Mmm, it has a good flavor. Um, very minty, kind of flowery, and it is gum. Yeah, so this is like Pokemon gum. So I'm gonna save this for later. But I'm really cute, really cool gum. And that's what it looks like. Cute little package to it too. Pokemon XY with a cute little Pikachu on there. I'm loving that. Okay, let's see what else we have in the box. Let me go ahead and grab something. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna save this lemon thing. This is like a little lemon thing. And I have just one thing about Japanese candy. They, they do lemon candy right, okay? My favorite lemon candies always come from Japan. And this looks like a really super cute little like little lifesaver. But check out the size. That is like a monster lifesaver. That thing is huge. Um, I will save this for later, but this looks really yummy. I can tell, especially because it has a smiley face. So I definitely like that. Um, but this I would be a treat. I definitely will enjoy. I just know if I start eating that, I'm gonna be like chomping on that this whole video. And you guys won't be able to hear me talk very well. So I'll say that let's see what else we got looks like we got a cute little oh some cute little stickers or sticker looks like we have a cute little meow here and we'll take a look at this very nice this has a really good quality feel to it it's one sticker okay and um, has a good laminated feel to it. So I think this will hold up like in the rain or something. Uh, it's not one of those paper stickers that self-destructs. Now this does look like like art, like a like a artist rendition of Meow, if I'm saying that right. Um, the, so it's not an official licensed product, but it is really cute though. I'm definitely digging Meow with like a little cookie there. So really cute. We'll go ahead and put this down here. Well, here, let me give you one good shot. Nice little job. I wish the artist's name was on it because I love to promote them. But anyway, really nicely cut sticker, very professional. Feels very good quality. So we'll put that down here. And let's see what else we got in here. We have, um, what is this, man? Monster Snap. Oh, I've had this before. This is good. This is like a hard candy. Um, I'm going to save this for later. But what this is, is this basically like a hard candy, but the bottom part of it has like a color to it. So you can actually like lick it and you can actually stamp it on paper. It's actually like a stamper. You see the little stamper and there's like the bottom of it and then you can print it on paper, which is a lot of fun. And this is real, this is real candy from Japan. Um, I've had this before, very, very good stuff. It has kind of like a cola taste, like a Coca-Cola kind of thing, but very yummy. Let's see what else we have. Oh, there's a mystery envelope. Oh boy. This is a really fun mix of like candy and toys. I really like this. Uh, let's see what we have in the little envelope here. We'll check this out. Like the little envelope. Like I love the little top part. Oh cool. This is really nice. This is like a cool little Pokemon keychain. Look at that. This reminds me of like the type of cool stuff you get at cons. I usually buy a lot of this stuff from like different artists and stuff. Really cool. Loving the little Pokemon, looks really awesome. I use this in one of my keychains. Good heavy duty, like uh, little ring too. Really good solid ring, but really cute. Definitely digging that. Okay, let's see what else we have. There's a food item here. Oh, these are good. I'm gonna go ahead and try one of these. This is like a little cracker. It's like a little herb flavored cracker. We'll open this up and give this a shot. If I can open it up, we'll see here. I guess I need my scissors, so here goes. Okay. And these are really yummy. They're like little vegetable crackers, kind of, and they have a little tray. Let me see if I can pull this out gracefully. 
There we go, you can see what that looks like. Really cute, yummy little crackers, like that. Let me go ahead and try one of these. Mmm, oh they're good. Um, definitely tastes like tomato on them. Um, really good, I have to have one more, this is so good, oh my god. Mmm. There's the brand, guys. Really good crackers, digging it. We'll go ahead and save the rest of these for later. And let's see what else we have. Looks like there's some like little card stuff. Let me see here. There is, um, oh, there's a little card. Oh, look how cute that is. Oh my god, all these Pokemon are having a good time. I'm loving that. Oh, look, there's Mimikyu, my favorite. If you didn't watch my Mimikyu video recently, uh, I did a video for opening the Mimikyu card, uh, the pin set, and that is one of my favorite new Pokemon. Very cool. And that's just like a, like a little, uh, this looks like a real photo print quality thing. It's on Kodak paper. So really cool, like little artist drawing on paper. Really glossy too. I don't know if you're catching the shine off that. Really cool. And then we have something else here. What is this? It's like a sticker or, oh, it's a handwritten note. How cool. Dear Tux Toys, we're super excited for you to review our first subscription box. Um, this month's theme is Pokemon. Yay, I love Pokemon. We hope you enjoy all of our products. We also want to give your subscribers a coupon code. So the coupon code is Tux Toys. That's awesome. In all caps. Um, they, it gives you 10% off for purchase, $10 or more. Can't wait to see your video. Thanks again. That is so nice. Guys, I want to thank you very much for sending this. Here's again the, the thing. Check it out. And there's some more stuff left here, guys. Let's see. Oh my god, there's a pack of Sun and Moon cards. That is cool. Um, we'll open this in one second, but I want to save that for last. And there is a Pokemon necklace. Look at this. This is really cool. Check this out. Oh my gosh. Let me see if I can gracefully open this up here. This is really cute, man. Look at this. It's like a little Pokemon necklace. It's adjustable. You can make it bigger or smaller. And look at the cute little Pokeball on there. And oh my god, that's so cute. Look on the inside. Like the white and the red part are actually made up of little Pokemon. You can see them all. You can try and guess them all. I see a Tarantar. Um, I see a, let's see, what is it? I see a Fletchling. I see a Pikachu. I see a Raichu. I mean, there's a lot of great little Pokemon. It's pretty easy to, to decipher them. Um, Aerodactyl, yeah, so that's really cute. And again, this is the type of thing you probably would find it like a con. It's not an official licensed product, but it is super duper cute. And I'm totally into supporting the artist community. So that's really great that I have all this stuff kind of put together in one nice box. And then finally, to top everything off, guys, again, there's a pack of Sun and Moon cards. How cool is that? Let's go ahead and open this up here. We'll see this retails alone for like $3.99. There's a price tag on it. So that is cool that they actually include some Pokemon. And I love the theme. I can't wait to see what theme they'll have next. Like, this is really neat. Let's go ahead and open this up here. I'm sorry again about my voice, guys. Like, I really hate having a cold. Here, I'm going to give this to you guys. Um, there you go. One lucky viewer, whoever gets that first can do that. There you go. And one, two, three. And let's see what cards we got. Hopefully it's a fairy card. All right, let's see here. We got basic card, very cool. Innards out, oh my God, innards out. That is hilarious. I don't have this card. I don't have all the Sun and Moon cards yet. Uh, so this is fantastic. I have this one, Roman Dex Trainer card. Trainer cards are always good though. Really cool basic, 110 damage on a basic is very, very good for competitive play. Team play attack, pretty good. Attack to 30 damage times the number of bench. So, I mean, you have to have a lot of these bench, but it can be a good card and fling. Uh, pretty funny for an ape, I guess, flinging things. Uh, do spider, a do, do fighter. Uh, bubble, the attack, kind of a cool basic 60 hit points. Pretty good for a basic. I'm probably slaughtering that name. Let's see here. Uh, really cool, sweet scent. Cool little attack, heal 30. That's really great. Almost makes you feel like it should be a fairy Pokemon. And splash for 10. And oh, look how cute that is. Oh my god, I love the artwork on that. Work up and bite. And here we have another little cool basic. Love the 3D art on that one with Scratch for 30. And here we have a Pharaoh. Very cool. Some good attacks. Slashing Strike is a really good attack for 60, which is really good for a stage 1, 90. And here is a Growlithe. Uh, let's see here. Uh, takedown for 60. Oh my god, guys. Cool. Check it out. A trainer full art card. I guess I... Oh, this is Sun and Moon, right? I should have done four. I screwed it up. My bad, guys. 
Um, I always forget the three versus four. Supporter, very cool. Draw two cards. During this turn, your Pokemon attack does 20 more damage. That is awesome, guys. In fact, you guys know I don't like using a whole lot of trainer cards. I know like that's probably wrong for me to do, so I should use trainer cards more. Uh, but this is an awesome trainer card. So, God, thank you guys so much. And then finally, there's a cool little fairy energy, too, which is great. You know I love the new design. And you know I can use fairy energy for my fairy attack deck. All right, so very cool, guys. Um, this has been just a fantastic box. Okay, so we got one more thing to open here, and this really doesn't even really make sense being lumped into this video now, but I'm going to open it anyway since we talked about it. This is a Ricky Morty, which I wasn't supposed to get, but when it's a Hot Topic doing a toy haul, somehow they charged me for this and this made it into the bag. And again, what's really weird about this is the fact that, hey, I didn't really want this, although I'm happy I got it because this is a cool show, obviously, but I wouldn't have bought one that was like resealed with scotch tape. That's a little bit weird. And the fact this wasn't glued when I got it, it was kind of like barely glued on. It was like loose and now it's completely popped open. So I don't know what to expect from this. But we're gonna find out together. And actually, if it is a double, it's not a problem. You know, doubles I give away. And actually, this is the very first video for the advance entry for my next giveaway. Yes. We have passed the time period for the 6400 giveaway. I'll be picking a winner for that giveaway very soon in the days ahead. So stay tuned for that. I'll have a winner. Just usually it takes me a couple days to kind of audit the things, and I'll pick a winner, and we'll have a video coming up for you um, soon, okay, in the days coming up. So anyway, let's go ahead and open this up. And of course, you can say, enter me in this video for your chance to get your name in the hat for my next giveaway, which we'll have more information on coming up. But anyway, I'm excited, guys. I'm just going to open it up from the bottom here. Uh, obviously, it won't be a double because it's my first one in the series. I just hope it's a rare one. Let me see. Was it? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. How bad is this? Like, this is bad, guys. Like, Hot Topic, shame on you. Like, they, they have an opened package that's been sealed with scotch tape. And then this bag is like opened, like someone already opened this, like they didn't just feel it up, they actually opened and looked at it, and then Hot Topic resealed it and sold it to me. Oh my gosh, hopefully it's a cool one. Let's see what we got here, guys. Let's see, oh, it's the random girl, Um, okay. So not bad, it's a one of 12, it is a common. I would have preferred like the one of 24 or the one of 72, but I guess this is what I get for not looking at my bag. I guess this is what I get for having them hold stuff at the counter. But it's okay, man, Um, this is cool. I like the art style to it. I'll add this to my collection and this is my first from the Rick and Morty collection, so that's cool. Okay, to recap, I wanna thank Akua Candy for sending me this wonderful little box. You guys know I love gaming cons, I love anime cons, and this honestly to me feels like a con and a box. You have all the joy, the fun of going to an anime con in a little box. I mean, you have the snacks, you got little candies, you got fan art stuff, you got stickers, you got pens, you got Pokemon cards, you got everything all in here. It's, it's a good time in a box, guys. So be sure and check these guys out. Here's a little card for you. There's there's social media links. I'll put these in the description down below for you. But the little card, I mean, Akua Candy basically is a direct translation of Aqua Candy in Japanese. Hopefully I'm saying all this right. We created this box because we wanted to share a love of anime with you. Aw, and we hope you enjoy everything including this box and don't forget to find us on our social media links and sneak peeks and for coupon codes, okay? And of course, uh, for watching Tux Toys, you can use that Tux Toys coupon code to save as well, all right? All right, friends, I want to thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate it, guys. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you like it. Shoot me an email if you have any questions, tuxtoys at gmail.com or just put a comment down below here, guys. And speaking of comments, if you say enter me in this video, this will be advanced entry for my yet next giveaway. I uh, will be wrapping up the 6400 giveaway that ended with the last video. This video is actually the first entry for my new upcoming giveaway. So be sure and say enter me and get your chance to win some cool prizes. And I'll have more information about that coming up in a future video, okay? Be sure and check out Tux Toys on Instagram and Twitter. Be sure and check out my alt channel, Tux Reviews, also on Instagram and Twitter. And of course, Gamer Tux, my beta channel. All right? All right, friends. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.